welcome back to Pixmon Ranger! I am Pixmon Ranger Siri, and we are here in Moss Park Town, at our house in Moss Park Town today. And, oh, there is Yen! So Yen is running around. I've got Yen and our little Amolga, who I'm thinking of naming... Let's see, are you a girl or a boy? You're a little girl. So I think we're gonna name her, uh, Zipper. Because Zipper just sounds adorable. So we've got Zipper and Yen roaming around. They seem to get along okay. They don't really touch, which is probably a good thing because I have a feeling Zipper would probably uh, give them a little shock and Yen wouldn't like that. In fact, Zipper, what is your personality? Impish. So for sure, Zipper would give Yen a little shock and we are not having that. <laughs> it's okay, Yen. It's okay. I know. Don't worry. But yes, so I have wonderful news, everybody. We have new villagers here in Mossberg Town. Our quest is completed because the fisherman, the mayor has told me that the fisherman and his daughter have moved into the yard that we built for them. The beautiful, well, I guess moved into that area sounds odd. Basically, they built a little house and they have moved in uh, behind the mill tank farm. Sydney, how are you today? All right, how's Sydney doing? Do I have anything I could give Sydney? No, I don't. Not right now. Sydney, here, you know what? I'm going to be a good neighbor. I'm going to come over here and help you out by gathering up your, your strawberries here for you. There you go, Sydney. There you go. Being a good neighbor. Don't worry about it. Totally my pleasure. There you are. Too bad. I need a little bit more coins to be able <laughs> to be able to get the leather from our drought. We'll work on that later. Oh, hey, seriously. Welcome to the mill tank farm. Good to be here. Oh, and look at all the cute little mill tank. I love them. All right. So we're going to head right down over. Oh, it's a beautiful butterfree. Hello, handsome! It would be amazing to see different varieties of Butterfree. Like Monarch Butterfree, or like Yellow Swallowtail Butterfly Butterfree. Oh, I never thought about that before. Or like, what about Luna Moth Butterfree? <gasps> that would be beautiful! Alright, come on you two! Good morning, Timothy! Good morning! Alright, we're gonna continue moving down. Alright, let's see. And here we go. Look, you can see, you can see the little house peeking through the cherry blossom trees. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, you two, let's go meet our new neighbors. This has been a long time in coming, but we finally managed to get it done. <gasps> there he is. Here's Old Man Fisher. And that really is his name. It turns out his last name is Fisher, and he just goes by Old Man Fisher with his goldeen. And oh, hello, sir. It's very nice to finally meet you. I'm so glad you've moved into town. The goldine and the pond look amazing. We've been spreading the sacred lotus as fast as they can grow. Looks totally awesome. And how are you? So as we can see, he is a pretty cool old man. He basically is here for his retirement. He was a famous water type Pokemon trainer and fisherman. And he likes to just relax now. So when we come and speak with him, we can actually give him cups of tea, all sorts of different cups of tea. And he will appreciate that and give us a few little coins in exchange. And we can also bring him fish, because as most fishermen, he enjoys eating fish as well. So anytime we end up with fish now, we can come over just like that and trade to him for some fish. He also loves fish lettuce wraps, and I hear a rumor that he's kind of a cranky old man, but if we work on our relationship with him for a while, then he will actually teach us more about how to fish really well. He'll even sell us fishing rods to catch Pokemon, water-type Pokemon, look at this. He already will give you the old fishing rod for 64 coins. For a lot more than that, he'll give you the super rod, and for a ton of coins or five mill tank, we'd have to go catch five mill tank for the mill tank farm, in which case they definitely have to expand their farmland. He will give you a good rod. So, actually, I'm pretty sure the super rod's supposed to be there, yeah. It's old rod, good rod, then super rod, so we need to swap that around a little bit. He is an old man. He tends to forget things, so, you know, we don't want to cheat him. We'll let him know that he needs to swap his prizes around a little bit. But yes, yeah, so, what'd he say? These goldine, quite lovely, as normal as they are. There is beauty in that, too. Hello, sir. Hmm? What do you want? Oh, well, I just wanted to say hello and welcome you to Mossberg Town. I'm your neighbor. I live right across the way. Oh, oh no, is that a Fero? I think that Fero's messing with flight. We're going to have to go up there and take care of that in case a Fero is messing with flight. Uh oh Yen, get out of there! <laughs> Dang it, Yen. There we go. Oh, poor Yen. I'm sorry, buddy. How did you get in the water? Were you trying to eat? I think he was trying to eat the goldine, and he ended up in the water. Well, come on. We don't want We don't want the old man Fisher to think that I just let my my mouth jump into the ponds and eat the, the goldine now, and then that's not polite. But yes, so if you speak with him... Hello, sir. 
No, no, I don't want to talk to anyone about that right now. So many questions about the Lugia dance. Yes, that is something very, very exciting. So it turns out that Old Man Fisher is known throughout the world, not only for being an expert in water type Pokemon, but also for being one of the very, very, very few individuals in the entire world to have seen Lugia and Lugia dance. Oops, Zipper, are you stuck now too? Oh my goodness, there we go. But yes, oh, well, we won't talk about it right in front of him. He might think that we're just fame-seeking, like, legendary Pokemon-seeking uh, little trainers, like so many of the other people who question him. But he saw, while he was out in the ocean, a Lugia, more than one of them, because apparently there's rumors that there's only one in the world, but there's more than one because they're so intensely rare, and they come together for a very rare breeding dance only once every few years. And he happens to know where they come together and how they perform that beautiful dance, and he knows where to find them. Oh, we're not here. We're not here to steal a legendary Pokemon. We won't steal them. I want to study them. I'm a fan. I just want to study them, Old Man Fisher. I don't want to steal them, I promise. But yes, he's very clammed up about that knowledge, and he's so sick of like all these people who just want Lugia for their own abilities and powers, so he doesn't tell anybody where they are or what happens, but I think if we befriend him and bring him lots and lots and lots of cups of tea, over time he might open up to us, especially if he ever starts asking us for a specific Pokemon, or maybe has us start learning how to like specialize the breeding of the Goldeen. That should be quite fun. Where's that Starly? I hear a Starly nearby. So that is something that we might deal with in the future, is helping old man Fisher settle into town and being his friend, and then one day figuring out where the Lugia are hiding. That would be amazing! Alright, now let's wiggle up here. And this is their house! It is kind of a funny little house, but it only had so much room to be built. They've got some little tea, tea plants here. Oh, and here's his daughter! So this is Mitsuko, and Mitsuko is, oh, look at her beautiful hair. Oh, so pretty. I love it. And she is in a beautiful a kimono, and she watches over the tea garden! Where? Oh, she has a starly invading her tea garden. Oh, and it's fighting with us! All right, Zipper, you know what to do. Quick attack! Good job. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's check, like, let's catch this Starly. It's obviously a tea-loving Starly. It's a little girl, too, very low level. And we don't have a Starly yet, so this is perfect. Yay, we caught her! Oh, we'll have to go introduce ourselves to her in just a minute. But here, let's help her by tidying up her garden a little bit. Do I have a hole on me? I do, good, so we can even help her by replanting the tea plant that the Starly destroyed. That should help her out quite a bit. Oh, and it looks like somebody messed with this one, too. There we go. I know, Mitsuko, I'm sorry. It's a little bit annoying because all of the, the animals do tend to destroy things. But yeah, this is their tiny little house. It's got adorable little pots in the windows. It's got some tea and simple bowls, a little, a little table and chairs set into the ground uh, to relax at. And Mitsuko... If we speak with her, she will actually help us out quite a bit by giving us some pretty fair coinage when it comes to tea leaves. So let me give her the tea leaves from her garden. It only seems polite. There we go. And then we've got quite a bit of money now. Yay! But she will also take tea. You can make cups of tea for her. And she needs spices like ground cinnamon and spice leaves and vanilla to mix into her food and tea. And she loves making cinnamon rolls and spice buns. So you can both make those and give them to her to eat. Or you can buy them from her, depending. So that's really fun. Oh, it is a lovely day out there, Mitsuko. But she's very shy. Hello, seriously. She's very, very shy, and she just kind of likes to hang up here and help uh, help out by, like, providing food for, and tea for her dad. I think that I could probably introduce her to Timothy, though. I think she and Timothy might make a good match, if you ask me. All right, let's run home. But yeah, those are our new, our new residents of the town. And now we have a whole new area of town. So everything is starting to expand, and I'm so happy because it means that we are finally finally done with a major project we've been working on for a long time, which is to have the quest to help these guys move in. Oh my gosh, there's Execute, there's Ladybug and Starly fighting everywhere. Ladybug. Oh my gosh, there's Ladybug everywhere. I'm getting soaked. There's a Hoot Hoot. Oh my gosh. Ugh, there we go. Hey Mia, have you seen any Eevee around lately? Amethyst, have you seen any of your like unevolved kind? Because I, I really wanted that Eevee and I was still sad that I missed out on it. All right, there we go. Some more coins. My goodness, it's really coming down out there. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and replace the, the like, Pokeball we just 
We just lost by purchasing things. All right, let's see, where's the nearest PC? The nearest PC is gonna be in our ranger station. So let's just go ahead. Ah, oh, it's so rainy, so rainy. We're just gonna run right through the rain to the ranger station. I wanna meet that Starly. Oh, while we're at it, oh, so much rain. Let's gather up this bamboo and start it for compost again. That's still like the best idea ever. We should be able to grow a lot of things. Eh, there we go. Yeah, we should be able to really get our gardens growing and make sure we have enough food. If we keep, ah, there we go. If we keep the compost uh, cooking. All right, let's run by. So much rain. It'd be nice if some special Pokemon would show up. Eh? Oh, oh, it's a tiny baby meow lost in the rain. Oh, hang on, little guy. Quick attack. Oh, you flinched. Quick attack. There we go. Oh, come here, little one. All right, let's see. Um, I need something low, like that we, so we won't hurt him. Do I have anybody? Well, let's just try this. All right, come here, little guy. Come on in out of the rain into the Pokeball, and we'll we'll bring him in. Oh, it's so sad. Just this tiny baby meow. All by himself out in the rain, and we caught him! Oh, wonderful! Alright, let's put this away in the compost. Oh my goodness, Ladybo, where are you? Are you in my house? That's what I get for leaving. Well, no, the doors are closed. Phew, there we go. You are in my house! I must have gotten in through, uh, through there. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Lex Lethia looks so happy. What the heck? Ladybo, what are you doing? Be careful! Ladybug. That's so amazing. So we'll go meet our new Pokemon in just a second. Lexlethia? Are you pretty happy? Lexlethia likes Vioplume a tiny bit more every day. <gasps> egg! The egg just did that just pop up while we were here? Oh my gosh, well thank you, Lexlethia! I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and claim this egg. Oh my gosh, we have a new baby Onish on the way! We are on our way to 101 Onish. Watch out, Ladybug. All right, so let's check in on all the newbies that we've just added to the family, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's see. We've got the new Oddish egg, very excited about that. Oops, sorry about the ember, didn't mean to swap you out. And then we have this new little boy Meowth, and we've got the little Starly somewhere. So where did she run off to? Because we caught Starly. There she is, right here. All right, so let's see who the tea-loving Starly is, this adorable little cutie. And she is a oh, she's lonely by nature. So I'm really glad that we brought her into our family then, because she's a little lonely girl. And she's ordinary growth. She knows tackle, growl, and quick attack. Oh, she's so cute. I want to give her like a really special name now. Oh, so she's a little cutie. And then we've got let's see, let's well, who who do I need to hang on? All right, squirt gun, you're fine. Yen needs healed. You're fine, and you're fine. Uh, so let's go ahead. I need to heal up a few of these guys. And the new little Meowth, uh, Yen is actually a male too. I forgot about that. So it's like a little brother for Yen. And this new little guy, no scratch, growl, bite, and fake out. And he's a small jolly guy. Oh, isn't that so cute? Maybe I should name him Penny or something then. I need to look up really, really tiny coins around the world and we'll name him after a really tiny coin, maybe with a happy little picture on the front from around the world. And let's see, those were the, the two new ones that we just added in. And the egg! The egg! I'm always so excited to have an egg. Ladybug, what are you doing? Ladybug. What are you doing in here, huh? Do you want to join the family? Ladybug. Yeah? Hang on. Let me see. We might as well try catching a ladybug. This particular one seems to, to know our home pretty well. Never mind, we accidentally fainted it. Oh, sorry about that. Yen was too strong. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, but yes, our family has just grown tremendously yet again, so I'm really happy about that. Let's go ahead and put the little baby Meowth away. And the little baby Starly, hmm, it would actually be good to train her up again. Ah, oh, speaking of Starlies and flying and all of those things, though, let's see. Uh, do we want to hatch the egg? Well, I'll carry the egg around while we're doing work around town. I do want to keep Squirt Gun with us, though. All right, Starly, hang on, little one. I need Squirt Gun with us. Ah, let's go to sleep and then let's go upstairs, or I should say outside, down the path, up the stairs, and let's go check on how Flight and her mate, Cumulus, 
are doing and see if they have any luck with any eggs yet. Yes, yes Lee, where are you? Oh, Ember. We're not going to stand for this, Ember. I'm not going to be harassed by Ghastly. Oh, I hear you cackling at me. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Ember, go! Did we get him? <gasps> we got him! Alright, Ember, flamethrower! That was really overpowered, Ember. You're almost level 40, and that was like a level 12 Ghastly, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. We defended my home from nightmares and naughty Ghastly, so that's important. Oh, I'm so excited. Mossbark Town is growing. We'll be able to work on our exhibits finally and hopefully go out and catch even more Pokemon. Oh, there's another Ladybug. Because it's so much fun to come over here and see how the town's grown. And it's got the beautiful Goldeen and Old Man Fisher just hanging out looking at the pond. I love seeing that kind of growth. It's amazing. It's just very reflective of the fantastic stories we've been on. All right, how's it going up here, you guys? Ooh, Altera and Flight. Flight loves Altera as much as possible. Altera, aka Cumulus. Altera likes Flight a tiny bit more each day. Any egg? No egg yet, but you, di you guys definitely have enough feathers and fluff to be able to protect any young you have. Oh, so the town is growing, and we are finally done with one of the major quests that the mayor had given to us so, so long ago. And in the future, we are going to be moving into doing even more quests. We're going to be doing some snivy uh, work where we will be building a special exhibit where we will put our new little male snivy and the superior that we found. Let's see. Let's try walking around town a little bit and seeing if we can find another Eevee. There's Starly. Easy there, little guy. A bunch of blackberries from my garden. <laughs> it's just so nice to be back in town for a little bit. All right, let's clear these out of the way so I can get to my garden a little easier. There we go. All right. Oh, and yes, I do have a little hoe so I can repair my precious, my precious cotton garden and the little coffee patch that I had growing for the mayor. There we go. All right. Oh, I'm just so happy. There we go. All right, and I've got a few, so a few coins. Phew! You never know what's going to come up next. As Pixelmon Rangers, it's very exciting because we're not just locked in for like training up Pokemon. We're always trying to like find new ways to study them and new ways to learn from them or about them. Hmm, though now that I'm thinking about it, I really lo would love, love, love if Old Man Fisher could one day trust us enough that he'll tell us the mystery and the secrets. Oh, can't pick that up. That he could tell us the mystery and the secrets of what goes on with the Lugia. Because I know so many of you would be so excited if we could find a Lugia out there in this world. Hmm. Alright, let's get these. Got you. Got you. Let's go ahead. Maybe expand the garden a little bit more with something. Um, how about a chili pepper? Another chili pepper right there. There we go. And some bamboo shoots. Do, 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 do. And more bamboo shoots. And you can really tell where I've had little creatures come and peck away at my garden. It's amazing because I've never really had to worry about the garden like this before. Alright, I'll just fill this in with bamboo shoots for now. There we go. Alright, all of that's taken care of. I've got some coffee for the mayor so that she can enjoy. And you know, we might go get an old rod from uh, Old Man Fisher today because I think that would be very useful for what we do. Oops, that's my little leaf stone shard. Hmm. So the next mission is going to be building an exhibit for the Snivy, but we need to go look at the quest. Let's go look at the quest and see what will happen after that. There's a bell sprout. I need to catch one of those guys soon. Oh, Fart Fetched! What? Oh my gosh! This gang is gone is huge! Oh wow, look at her! Ember! I want to try to catch her. Maybe she can be like our nursery mama. I think a Genghis gone would make an amazing nursery mama. Holy moly, Ember! Holy days, Ember! I think I put all my potions in the pack. I'm so sorry. This is such a strong... Comet Punch! Holy days! She would be a good defender for the moms! Oh my gosh, um, Gust? Oh my gosh, she's so powerful! Look at her! I want her! 
we'll add her to our family and we can build like a little nursery where we store eggs that we don't have the ability to hatch just yet. All right, let's see. Man, is now over the time I wish I had a heavy ball. <laughs> oh, I don't even have a great ball, really? Oh dear. Let's see if we can get her. She's gigantic. She'd be a perfect guardian for a nursery. Oh boy. <gasps> All right, squirt gun, come on. We're trying really hard here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I may have been up more than we can chew by a hundred million percent. Um, safari, friend, dive, repeat, timer. Does timer count by now? Um, let's try timer ball. Oh my goodness, you guys, we might have the perfect guardian for the nursery. I really want her. She's huge. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Zipper, no. Yen, hang in there. <gasps> She's paralyzed. Oh, thank goodness. All right, maybe that'll do it. Let's try. All right, a safari ball. <laughs> I'm like desperately trying all of them now. Please let her be paralyzed. Please let her. No. Oh, no. Look at her. Oh, she's gigantic. Oh, let's see if she'll stay there long enough. We can try catching her. I'm so sorry, little ones. She clearly has proven herself as an absolutely amazing, like, protective parent, though. She's gone. She's gone. Oh, that was amazing. Well, we know that there's a fantastic, uh, fantastic Genghis Gong roaming around at least. And that she would very, very, very well, uh, do very, very, very well on protecting <laughs> any babies we might bequeath to her. So we'll remember that for the future. All right, but let's go in and, Mayor, I'm sorry. I know that that display right outside the back of your, like, town hall is not going to make you feel confident in my abilities, but I promise you I am capable and willing and able to take care of this, this beautiful town that we call our home. All right, Mayor, so I've got some coffee for you. Don't panic. There we go. A little bit of coffee for the Mayor. Ah, wonderful. Good. We really needed that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and a lot of coffee beans to roast up into more coffee, and here we go. So we've finally completed the Old Man Fisher quest, so we can call that done as a doornail. And then we've got quite a few more things to work on. Rocky Caverns, Lava Lab, Crowbat Cave, Sudocene Grove, Snivy Vines is what we're going to work on next, and Marsh Top Marshes. So there's a whole bunch of interesting things to work with, and we'll have to pick one for next time, huh? That's really surreal. So we'll work on Snivy Vines, and then we'll have to get ready to try to find try to find the ways that we can fill the, the other missions and see what other quests the mayor gives us. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.